Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I've been sitting here at my makeup table trying to figure out what video I want to film today and I still haven't figured it out. So I said, you know what? I know I need to put some makeup on my face, so let's just do that first. <laughs> so now I'm revisiting some products that I haven't used in a while for my face and, you know, some old favorites, but what kind of sparked the palette choice for today, which I'm going to use this Bad Habit Cult Mystere palette. I know a lot of us grabbed these when Bad Habit was duping the Pat McGrath palettes because y'all know Pat McGrath is mad expensive. So when Bad Habit started duping her, <laughs> a lot of people were scooping these up because the quality is really nice as well for these palettes. Now, this is what the Cult Mystere looks like. And as you can see, it's very bold, very out there, a lot of beautiful glittery type shadows, not too many like neutral tones to play around with. There's this black and this brown. So obviously I'm going to be doing a pretty bold kind of out there look with this palette. So this is what I wanna play with today along with, like I said, some other goodies that I have not played with in a while just to kind of see if I still like them, if I'm still feeling them. So what I'm gonna do is start out by prepping my lids with some of my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer basically what I use for my lids because I'm trying to go through this because it's too light as a concealer for me. I have the shade Caramel and although, you know, this will be fine for some people, it's not like ridiculously light. It's a little too light for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lids with this and then we'll come back and jump into this wild eye look with this Mystere palette. And I think I'm gonna be using tape today, you guys, since I am probably going to go in heavy with the black. I don't wanna have to worry about cleanup too much. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this palette right quick, just so you guys can get an idea of the colors and how they look, because some of the shimmer shades kind of look a little bit different when you swatch them, because they're trying to mimic the specialty shades from Pat McGrath. So let me just swatch this right quick. So this is what the palette looks like. Gorgeous shadows, as you can see, so, so pretty. So I basically wanna put all of these on my lid <laughs> and just have a nice dark crease. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna start out in my crease using this brown shade here, which is called Kabuki Dance. It's just a matte brown shadow. So that's just a very nice, warm transition shade. I really like how this shadow lays down. It blends out very nicely and easily. It's not patchy, very nice. Okay, so next we're going to deepen this up quite a bit. I'm gonna go into the black and I'm just going to smoke out the outer corner and drag it into my crease just a little bit. And I'm using one of my smaller, denser eyeshadow brushes from e.l.f. to place this down. And I'm adding a little bit, just a little bit to my lid as well to create just a little bit of a dark base for those bright shimmers. And I'm gonna go back in with that brush that has the brown on it and just try to blend out that edge a bit. Yeah, I really like how that black is just kind of blending into that brown. Okay, so now that I look like Rocky the Raccoon, <laughs> let's go ahead and add some color to these lids. I think I'm gonna start out with Plum Wine, this gorgeous kind of fuchsia shimmer, and just place that on the beginning portion of my lid. 
and I'm going to spray my brush. Oh, that's pretty. These shadows actually appear to apply more vibrant without spraying my brush. So I'm just going to tap some more of that on. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm curious, how many of you guys picked up these cult palettes when Shop Hush started duping the Pat McGraths? Because I have all of them. I actually had a giveaway like a few months back where I gave away two whole sets of these palettes. So hopefully the winners are enjoying them. But yeah, I, I really like these palettes. Okay, so right next to that, we're going to go into, is that King Tuxi? <laughs> King Tuxi, which is the beautiful kind of goldy green shade. The only thing about these shadows is that they do crumble. You know, they do have some fallout. So it makes the application a little bit easier if you do spray. Now, I don't think I completed my thought in the beginning of this video where I was stating how I ended up deciding to use this palette. So I'm gonna go in with this blue shade here now. Mako, I think it's called Mako. But how I ended up picking up this palette to play around with, I was actually going through my palettes looking for dupes for the new Huda Beauty Retrograde palette. I was just going through all of my palettes, trying all these different shimmers, <laughs> looking for dupes for that palette because I don't wanna buy that palette. I'm really trying to do better on a low buy. Not a no buy, but a low buy, which I have been doing really good. I buy a lot less compared to how I used to buy makeup. I buy a lot of items now based on whether or not I know I'm going to use them for you guys and also if I actually want them in my collection, you know, if I'm just like, if it's something that I feel like I have to have. So with that Huda palette, I know the only reason I want it is because of the packaging. The shimmer shadows look beautiful, but I know I have similar shadows or those same shadows already and the matte shadows are just not deep enough for me so the only reason why I'm dying to pick it up is the packaging and I really want to stop doing that I really want to stop buying makeup just for the packaging if I don't really want what's inside and I know I'm not going to use what's inside I really need to stop buying certain palettes it's really just palettes but that palette is gorgeous <laughs> i haven't broken down yet but it might happen i might break down and get that palette but if i don't buy it i will be super proud of myself i just don't feel like it's uh you know really brown girl friendly yes of course i could create a beautiful eye look with it but i just don't think that um it was made for me if you know what i mean i'm just gonna take what's left on the brush for the black and just gently tap that in the corner just to blend out the edge of the shimmers okay so i'm gonna throw on some black liquid eyeliner for this eye look and then we'll move on to the face. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner done, let's move on to the face. I'm going to moisturize with this Glassy from Touch and Soul Moisturizer. I really like this stuff. It feels amazing and it just really hydrates my face. So I'm gonna use some of this to moisturize.
Now that my face is nicely moisturized, I wanna go in with some of my Sephora foundation. And this one is the Matte Perfection Foundation in the color Cappuccino. And I'm gonna spray my brush a bit because this foundation is very matte. So as you can see, this foundation is not my perfect match, but once I put my powder and bronzer and everything on, it will come together. So for concealer today, I wanna go ahead and use my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. And this one is in the shade uh, Golden Caramel. Now I can't say that this CoverGirl concealer is my favorite, it's definitely not, but it has some nice coverage. Using it, blending it in with a brush, you have some serious coverage with this concealer. Now to set under my eyes, I'm gonna use a powder I have not used since I think I first bought this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the color Deep. Now I don't know if it's just the color that I didn't really care for or maybe I just wasn't using it right, but I did not like it when I first got it. And I know so many people love, love, love this stuff. So I'm gonna try it again and see what happens. And I'm just gonna use a soft brush to tap it underneath my eyes. You know, sometimes you use products and the first time, maybe you don't like it because you don't like how it played with the other products that you used that day, or maybe it just, you know, wasn't acting right. So I'm gonna try it again because so many people love it. I mean, it's not bad, so maybe it was just the color I didn't like, I don't know. Maybe I wanted to try the medium for under my eyes just to add a little brightening because this is the deep and it's actually not bad. I totally feel like a goth girl with this eye look. <laughs> it's so deep and smoky, but I love dramatic eye looks. I think they're so pretty. Not always wearable, but they're very pretty. Okay, so that's not bad. Not bad at all. That's why, you know, sometimes you have to give things a second chance trying it out. Not too bad. So next, to actually set my whole face and kind of pull it together, I'm gonna use this Kiss New York Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation that I got from my local beauty supply. Very, very nice. And this is in the color Toffee Caramel. And it looks like this. I think I paid about seven or eight dollars for this. Okay, so next I wanna use a couple of products that I've had in my collection for a long time and I haven't reached for them in so long. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer. I have not used my bronzer in quite a while, and also the Amrezy highlighter that I got from ABH. I have not used this beauty in quite a while. I don't know, maybe it was a little too icy to me, which is, you know, it's possible, because it is, it's gorgeous, but it is very icy, and I don't even know if I wanna do that today, but, With this bold eye, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> and I really wanna go easy with this bronzer because if I remember correctly, it is pretty pigmented. And 
it's funny because this bronzer is not as dark as I remember it being or as I thought that it was because the bronzers that I use now like my favorite the Morphe Glamour bronze seems to be a little more rich than this one this one is very nice but not as deep as I remember it being it could just be my lights as well okay yeah so it's definitely not as rich as my Morphe Glamour bronze it's very nice, but yeah, it's not as rich and warm and deep as the bronzers that I like to use nowadays, <laughs> I'll say. Okay, before I go in with that highlighter, I'm taking it way back to one of my first blush palettes. This is the Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette, and I got this because I wanted to just have a lot of different blush shades in my collection in one go and so I bought this and these blushes are very pigmented you guys <laughs> so I think what I want to do is yeah I think I'm gonna go into this maybe mix a little bit of this one in there to tone it down so I'm gonna do these two this one and this one mixed together very pretty yeah I don't even know if Beauty Treats <laughs> is still around or if they still sell this blush palette but it's definitely very pigmented for a very affordable price I think that I got this off of Amazon if I'm not mistaken okay so now let's go ahead and hit this Amreezy highlighter and see what happens Yeah, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah, that Amory's the highlighter. Steal the bomb. Steal the bomb. Okay, so let's finish up these eyes. I do want to smoke out this lower lash line. I want to go in with an eyeliner, so I'm going to use one of my ColourPop gel cream liners on my lower lash line it's a really pretty like purpley fuchsia color i don't know the name or i can't read the name so i will leave it in the description box below and to smoke out my lower lash line i'm going to go into the brown shade and see if that makes it smoky enough for me if not I'm gonna add a little bit of the black. Okay, yeah, I think that's gonna be smoky enough for me today. <laughs> and for my inner corner pop today, I'm just going to go into this light shade here. It's kind of like a transforming iridescent type shade so I'm not sure how it's gonna look on my inner corner so we're gonna find out together <laughs> and I'm not gonna do a wet I'm just gonna do a dry highlight today sometimes I like to just take my brush and dab it there you see that beautiful highlight for that inner corner and I just dipped it in the shadow and popped it in the corner and it gives a nice brightening like a pinky tone to it which you know you probably can't really see unless you see me in person but it has kind of like a pink iridescence to it I really like these palettes I mean I need to play around in them more because the shadows are just so amazing and I don't have the Pat McGrath one <laughs> so but Bad Habit did a really good job with these palettes. Whether they're complete dupes or not, they're still amazing palettes. So if you have them, pull them out, honey, and play around with them because they're very nice. A little mascara, and then we'll go ahead and finish up with the lips. Now, I was going to go nude today, but I changed my mind. <laughs> it's fall. Let's go nice and dark and vampy or something. 
So I have this really pretty CoverGirl lipstick here. Don't know the shade name, so I will list that in the description box below as well. And then I also have one of my LA Girl uh, matte velvet matte lipsticks that I purchased not too long ago from Ulta when they were on sale. Let me swatch these and see what we're going to do. So this one is the LA Girl Velvet Matte. And this one is the Cover Girl. I think they're kind of similar, but the Cover Girl is more like a kind of like a thin shine. Maybe I'll put this on top. So yeah, the Cover Girl is more like a gloss, which I don't want to do. I'm going to do the LA Girl Velvet Matte and see if I want to put the Cover Girl on top. So I'm going to line my lips with my Ellery Lip Liner. These lipsticks, you really don't have to line your lips, but I do like to have that little barrier around my lips. <laughs> oh, I love these dark fall shades. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And these are so comfortable, the LA Girl ones, and so affordable, okay? Okay, so this is the look. Let's go ahead and set it in place with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So this is the final look you guys for today with this Cult Mystere eyeshadow palette. I love this palette you guys. I love the palette. I love the look. I mean, yeah, it's a bit dramatic, but I'm feeling it. Okay. So yeah. And a host of various other products that I drug out to try again. I like everything. I do. That foundation is very, very matte. The shades are kind of, you know, they have a very nice shade range, but it might be kind of tricky finding your exact shade match. Like I was not able to, but you know, I work it out. But I love the finish of it. It's very nice, very matte, very smooth, and I'm here for it. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Hopefully you had a good time creating this face with me. And I'm probably gonna film something else now that my face is done. <laughs> so I will see you in my next video. Toodles!